I feel like all these products I love. Never fails. <laughs> guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here before we even get into this video stop what you're doing and subscribe to my channel you might as well hit the little post notification bell as well if you're not new here welcome back I have what I think is a great video for you guys today so as you could tell by the title this is going to be the first part of a series a monthly series that I'm gonna do of my monthly empties my beauty products hair products basically all the products that are empty. I really enjoy watching other people's empty videos because I feel like there's no better review than watching somebody talk about a product that they've used and is completely empty. It's not like they only gave it one or two shots. No, they've used the whole product. So I really enjoy empty videos for those reasons. And I also think it feel like it's an honest review. People sometimes tell you whether they're going to repurchase the product or if they're going to swap it out for another product and the reasons why. So in my series, that's my goal. I'm going to let you know like my top five or six products every month that have gone empty and whether I'm going to rebuy them or replace them and the reasons as to why. So if you want to get into the May edition of my empties, keep watching. So first things first, let me just start with like probably my favorite product, my holy grail hair product. And you can tell that I really got crazy with this one. This is the Living Proof 5-in-1 Perfect Hair Day Styler. When I tell you that, when I tell you this is my product, sis, you see that? I ran out and my Amazon delivery was running late. That's how good this product is. I will never put another product in my hair before blow drying it besides this product. Like buy it if you have curly hair buy it a lot of people will probably think my hair is straight my hair is actually tight curls I blow dry it to get it straight I have really extremely kinky tight curls and this is like my secret weapon you need this if you blow dry your hair you need this so I'm also going to be putting the names down below of all of the empties whether or not I'm going to be buying them again, I'm still going to post them down below so you guys can go ahead and check them out for yourself. Next up, I have by far another one of my products. After this video, you will never see that last product, the Living Proof Styler, and you will never see this product again in an empties video because these are products I'm just never going to get rid of. This is the Urban Skin RX Cleansing Bar. I literally use it till it hits pan all the time. This is the only soap, well not the only soap I use on my face, but this is my daily cleansing soap. So every time I see myself about to get here, I place an order because I, I just can't, I can't go without this stuff. If you haven't tried it, I know I said in my skincare video, I feel like I've said this in a couple of videos. If you haven't tried it, go to Urban Skin RX, Target, Ulta and find a cleansing bar from them that works for your skin condition. I feel like all these products I love. Next up, I have my La Roche-Posay Toraline Ultra Night Cream. I love La Roche-Posay products in general because they're non-comedogenic. You know, they don't clog your pores, okay? They don't clog your pores. I'm going to put the word up there because I know it and I know how to say it, but whenever I get on camera, I'll be forgetting it. So I really do love La Roche because they don't clog pores. They're very gentle on the skin and still effective. So normally I would go ahead and rebuy this product. However, probably a month before quarantine started, I actually got some Botonics gratis and I've been using their Simply Calm Cannabis Sativa Cream as a night cream because it's super thick and hydrating in replace of this, but I did reorder this because I can't live without it. Another empty for me this month was the La Roche-Posay Vitamin C 
serum. This isn't a La Roche Posay empties video. This isn't a La Roche Posay sponsored video. It just happens to be one of the skincare brands that I really, really, really trust and believe in. However, with that being said, I did run out of the vitamin C serum. I don't, I, I'm not going to be repurchasing it. I love a vitamin C serum for a day serum underneath my moisturizer. This one, I just feel like it didn't really I mean, it must have done something because it didn't not do anything, but I just really feel like it wasn't working for me, I guess you could say. I didn't really... The formula was very thick. I just... This is not something I would rebuy. I have to be honest with you guys. The vitamin C one is not something I would rebuy. I am, however, going to be replacing this with another vitamin C serum. I'm not too sure which one. If you have a vitamin C serum... Leave me a comment below. Let me know. I used to use 24 Karat Faces Vitamin C Serum. I've tried the Ordinary's Vitamin C Serum. Let me know some serums down below. While we're on the topic of Vitamin C, something that I didn't necessarily run out of, I guess you can say, but is the Vici Peptide C Ampules. What these are are little glass ampules i only have three left it's actually a 10 day pack and what it is is it's like a vitamin c supercharge for your face with peptides it, let's see what the box says from the first use skin is firmer and high more hydrated in 10 days skin looks smoother and radiant in one month visibly reduces wrinkles so like i said um i'm big on vitamin c this was actually, this actually I really enjoyed and I feel like I saw the benefits so I actually ended up not using the last three days because I was like, oh, I could save this for like, I would highly recommend this if you have a big event coming up, a photo shoot, a wedding, just something you want to look great for. It's definitely like a supercharge for your skin. I personally don't have sensitive skin, but I have heard that this product is kind of harsh on sensitive skin. So if you do have more sensitive skin, I would recommend only using it one time a day preferably at night and yeah this is i mean go out and get it I, I feel like it's a little expensive i don't know i received it as gratis but i feel like it's a little expensive and basically each ampule is just um a morning and a night there's enough serum in there for morning and night and you put this on under your moisturizer after you wash your face i love it I would buy it again definitely if I had an event or something that I was going to do I would definitely purchase this again another empty this month for me is my Terry Mugler angel perfume I have the refillable star and I actually have the refillable purse bottle too in an effort to save the environment I went with the refillable stars that you just refill when you run out at your local department store but thanks to COVID I can't do that anymore so I haven't really decided. <laughs> I think I'm going to Google and see if they sell like the refill so I can refill my bottle. Another empty that I love, I love, and I love even more so now that we are in super sanitizing times is the everyone for everybody hand sanitizer spray. But it's not about the sanitizer spray. It's about the scent which is the lavender and aloe. You do not understand how good this smells. I, like I said, I've been using it before, you know, the whole COVID-19 thing because as a makeup artist, ooh, there's a shadow behind me. I mean, it's my shadow, but I gotta work on my lighting. Back to the sanitizer spray. Um, As a makeup artist, Prior to COVID, I definitely used it all the time to spray my hands, spray my brush, my brush ends real quick, my stations, because it smells so good. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. It's raining right now in New Jersey. It's like a storm, and that was one of my friends letting me know that there was a power outage right now in our area. So hopefully I can finish this video before the power goes out, if the power goes out. Is my phone even charged in case it does? Yep. Okay, moving right along. This month's empties, I feel like really focused on skincare because now that we've been in quarantine and everything has been going on, I haven't been wearing makeup every day like I normally would. I feel like 
in a normal month i go through a ton of different makeup products that i'm testing out but right now i'm really focused on my skincare and my hair care since i've been home quarantined and i feel like i feel like that's just kind of what everybody's working on right now their body their skincare just you know that type of stuff i definitely do want to say that i think our new normal is definitely going to involve face masks. So just a tip to all you girls out there that do lashes and brows. You guys are going to be the hottest things in beauty in the next few months to come. Because everybody is going to want the most popping brows and popping lashes. So a declutter video that I'm not really sure if I'm going to edit and if it's going to make it to my channel or not. But what I did basically was declutter all of my beauty cabinets, closets, drawers, etc. So in doing so and cleaning out my closets and my beauty, all my beauty stuff, I actually found a ton of brand new unused products that I had. So what I did was I separated and I made a giveaway for my subscribers. And then I also made a huge box. It's a really a really big box and it is full and heavy of items that I'm going to be donating to a local organization that then distributes the products throughout women's shelters. Women's sanitary pads are a great way to keep the things from not breaking in the box but that's also something that they're in extreme need of so in order to pack this box I'm just going to go ahead and buy like four or five packs of women's pads and just kind of pack it in there. I wasn't really sure what the rules and parameters were to donating during COVID. So I reached out to the shelter coordinator directly and she actually let me know that right now more than ever, they need a ton of toiletry products and just skincare products and bath products. They are definitely in need. So that's what made me kind of give more to the donation box than I did the giveaway. I know I said this in my how to stay productive during quarantine video, but you can actually use this time to go through your closets, your drawers, and if you have anything that you're no longer using or wearing, it's a great time to donate it to people who are in need. I accumulate a lot of beauty products just basically from my job and being a beauty fan, so I was really happy that I had a ton of unused bath products and brand new creams and body sprays and a whole bunch of stuff that I can send to this women's shelter this woman shelter rather um and I definitely encourage you guys to do the same it's it's any donation is it matters so it might not be a box that's big it might be a bigger box it might be an envelope but anything that you can do is definitely I think a really a really good a really good thing to do so I would highly recommend reaching out to your local shelter. I'm also going to link down below a shelter organization, Project Beauty Share. I'm going to link them down below. And you can actually contact them if there isn't a shelter in your area accepting donations. You can reach out to them and send your items to them and they will distribute them to a shelter that is in need. So it's like a win-win for everybody. I don't know. It feels really good when you give back. Well, to me at least, I always feel really good when I give back. And I mean, I just had these products sitting around. And cosmetics do have expiration dates on them. So if they just sit around, they're going to become wasteful in my house. So I'd rather give them to somebody who could use them. So recently, while cleaning out all of my makeup storage and just going through life, I came up with a whole bunch of stuff to either donate or give away. So I've compiled a bunch of items for a giveaway for you guys. And the rules to the giveaway are going to be super simple. You're just going to have to be subscribed to my channel here on YouTube. So you're also going to have to be following me on Instagram. That's my Instagram name. I will be checking and making sure that you're subscribing and following me on both platforms. And then you're just going to have to go ahead and leave a little comment down below. Leave me something positive. Let me know your fa- That's too easy. That's too easy. Let me know in the comments below your favorite, your favorite lipstick. And use the little lipstick emoji, because if you don't use the lipstick emoji, your entry doesn't count. How about that? I feel like that's pretty easy. I will put the rules of the giveaway down in the description. Thank you so much for watching my May edition of Empties, my new series on my channel. I super appreciate it. 
Definitely, if you aren't already subscribing, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you're liking this video. Also, I mentioned a giveaway, so you're going to have to follow me on Instagram, as well as be subscribed to my channel for a chance to win. I can't wait to see who the winner is. I'll see you guys in the next video.